Hi there, I'm uh, <coughs> sorry, I'm out in the woods, uh, up in the Labo actually, and I was, um, I'm just seeking shelter here because of the rain. Um, I was planning to do a uh, knife review actually, and it's a, um, it's a very special knife I have with me today. It's, uh, I don't normally do these reviews, but um, this one is... Uh, I've been looking forward to this one. Okay, so here it is, the knife. It's the TBS Lynx. And if you have uh, followed this channel, you know that I love the uh, TBS knives and I carry the TBS bore um, myself. Um, I also carry Viking style knives and especially my socks is uh, my short woodsman Woodsman's Viking sucks. It's uh, I, I I love that knife, but it's it's uh, it's almost too nice to 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 use for batoning and and so on. Uh, so these knives, they you know, the TBS bore. Um, it's on my belt. Come on. This one. I've just used it now to baton a few very hard dried pieces of um of uh, not pine what's the what's the word again <laughs> well norwegian pine let's just call it that um and uh, just this knife has never failed me it's the it's the bore and this is not the stainless version it's the high carbon steel version so <clears throat> so this is the knife i'll be using uh as i have used used it several times before now um, the bore is a lot smaller no sorry the links the links is a lot smaller let's see her okay so this is the links as you can see it's uh, it's very small um, and I'll bring the camera even closer now and uh, Let's look at some of the details and why I think this is an awesome knife. Okay, so I can't remember the, um, the specifications when it comes to the length of the blade, but I'll, uh, I'll show you. It's, um, it's tiny. <clears throat> this is my hand and there is the knife. And uh, the handle is it's just very short for me. So why is this an awesome knife? Well, it is a small knife. And I would say if you have a slightly uh, smaller hand um, or for women perhaps and younger people, uh, this handle is a perfect size probably. Uh, my son, he adopted this knife just to, you know, it's, so this is his knife. <laughs> And, um, and uh, why this is an awesome knife? Well, it's built just like a larger knife, but just smaller. Everything is just smaller. Apart from that, it's just as solid. It's just as sturdy. And the problem I have with smaller knives is that they often they're not smaller only in size, but they are less reliable as well. That's that's what I'm seeing. Uh, uh, other brands, they it's like they don't put their soul into the knife. It comes in um, the same uh, sheath as uh, as the larger TBS knives. Um, here's a f uh, fur rod, and you have. Uh, a uh, <clears throat> pouch here with a scraper. Now I, I like to use the knife, but it's it's nice to have a scraper as well. You can also put other stuff in here. 
you know it's uh, for tinder a sharpening stone things like that or you can just remove the whole thing I'll remove the whole thing right now <clears throat> And it has multiple carry options. Uh, this can be carried if I put these on again through these holes here. You can carry it in your belt horizontally like this. Or you can carry it high uh, through with the belt through this loop up here. Like this. <clears throat> so uh, it also comes with an option. You can order this traditional Scandinavian uh, dangler sheath, which I personally prefer. For if the knife is not too big, I like this this option. I'll, I'll give you all the details, the specifications of the steel and the length of the blade and the knife in the video description. Uh, this is olive wood. It comes in uh, uh, at least curly birch and uh, I think it's called micarta, micarta, micarta. I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyway, this is an awesome knife. Um, full tang. And uh, yeah, the ergonomics as in the other TBS knives, it's great. It's just awesome. It just goes through the stick here like, like it's nothing. It's very sharp. And uh, they come very sharp from the, the, the shop when you order these. They are just, you don't have to do anything. And they keep their edge quite well, I would say. Um, so, as I said, I don't normally do knife reviews. This is not really a, uh, you know, a knife channel or a gear review channel. It's not, but I wanted to talk a little bit about this knife because um, it, it has to do really with, um, I think more women <laughs> should should uh, become out outdoors folk or outdoors people. They should spend more time in the outdoors doing bushcraft and so on. That would, you know, it should, it, that would be nice. And also kids, children, younger people. Um, and then it's important, you know, that they have tools that fit them. It would probably be easier for a wife, girlfriend or you know your your kids to love bushcrafting if they have just as nice tools as as you have um my other knife now let's see again it's on my belt i have been known for looking for my knife when it's on my belt <laughs> where did i put my knife oh it's on my belt um a knife like this fits my hand quite well um as i said it could it shouldn't be any shorter than this this is just well it's perfect actually for me um but this would obviously be too big a knife <clears throat> for women these two compared you know quite a difference Uh, I have some other knives here just to to uh, put things into perspective. Here's an Opinel. Um, it's very. I love this knife, but it's it's not. It's not like you. There are lots of things you can't do with this knife. You know, it's it's just too tiny in a way. But it's 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 great. It's just part of a. Uh, cultural tradition and I, I love this knife as well and here is the <clears throat> the tiny 
tiny Muda, which I also love. It's a neck knife. Um, I'll be talking a little bit more about this knife in another video. I just brought them with me just to compare. So as you can see, this handle is actually longer than that on the little Muda. And the blade is a lot more useful on the TBS links. Now, I would also argue that it's wise to carry a small knife of this kind to do, uh, well, for, for more finer work and detailed work. Um, food preparation comes into mind. And also, um, hold on. You know, if you're just doing some finer whittling and um, and I like to keep my thumb on top here. And when I do that, uh, sorry, the smoke is, I'm sorry if the picture is out of focus, it's because of the smoke. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you keep your thumb on top here, it doesn't really feel too small, you know, anymore. So then you can do, use your other thumb, <coughs> hold on, you could use your other thumb like this um, to do more finer work, uh, spoon carving and so on. It would be very good for that, this knife. Uh, so when I'm saying, <coughs> hold on, so when I'm saying this is for because the handle is short, it would fit better for people with a smaller hand. And, uh, you know, uh, it's also a knife for finer work, I would say. Yeah, I think that's all for now. And uh, again, thank you for uh, spending this time with me. I will be um, uh, the day after tomorrow. When I'm filming this, it's day after tomorrow. When you're watching this, maybe it's, uh, it's uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, in a couple of days, I will be traveling up to the mountains. And, uh, well, I can't promise uh, that I'll be able to film while I'm up there. It, it depends on several things, actually. Um, at this time of the year, it's a uh, it's school hol holiday. Um, uh, it's autumn holiday, and uh, there might be lots of people there. But then again, maybe not. So we'll see. I'll try to make a uh, video when I'm up there. It's... Uh, it's a wonderful, beautiful scenery up there in the mountains. Okay. I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night or whatever it is in your part of the world. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber to this channel, then please consider subscribing. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, take care and have a nice day.